Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at parenting trends people would disagree with. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Recording your children when you punish them. That's private, not for the public. Anything posted on the internet lasts forever. And children are cruel. Wait until that school see. They will carry that their entire lives. <gasps> Whoa. Is that a trend? I don't think I've seen it. Why would you record yourself punishing your kids and then putting it online? For other people to see your kids crying? What? Why would you do that? As a teenager, I absolutely hate how family members will spill private secrets and constantly complain and make jokes about you on the telephone or when families gather. This, man. Like, you tell your parents a secret and then your aunties and uncles know and then your cousins know and then everyone else just know. Like, even the aunts know. Like, what the heck, dude? I told you not to tell. <laughs> It's just so embarrassing, but that's that's honestly the most annoying for me as a kid. I told you a secret. Why does my uncle know? Why does he know? He's the last person I want to know. Over scheduling activities. When I was teaching, I remember my kindergartners telling me they had no time to play because every day consisted of non-stop structured sports, dance and such. <gasps> I agree because I grew up going to tutors after school. And I feel like when I came home, I was just so tired. I just hated going to tutoring because that was like three hours of your life. Just sitting there every single day, learning more things after school. Like school's already tough, okay? But now you have to add like an extra three hours of studies. And then after tutoring, you have to go home and do your homework. I know so many people can relate to this if they have like strict Asian parents that just always push them to go study. That was me. I was the kid who was just like always studying. <laughs> I did at one stage get like really sad though. And I think my mom caught on and she was just like, just do whatever you want. Just do whatever you want to do. Don't worry, mommy will support you, don't worry. And I think hearing that just made me realize like, hey, it's no big deal if I fail after all. <laughs> Cause I was so stressed. I was so stressed when I was studying. I was so stressed in school. And the bad thing about it was I started when I was like eight. Eight years old. Eight till 17. So nine years of like tutoring. Honestly, thinking back about it, it's like a lot of money too. But they thought it was worth it. But geez, I, I really don't think it was. <laughs> I really don't think it was worth it. Because at that point, if you're just like so tired when you're tutoring, you just end up not really doing anything. And I think some parents have to get that if your kid doesn't want to study, they won't study. <laughs> if they don't want to do something, they won't do it. So no matter how hard you push them, it's not going to work out unless they actually want to do it. So yeah, if you guys are going through the same thing right now, I feel for you. Just know that it will get better because it definitely did get better for me. Overprotection. Kids need to slowly, safely learn to manage risk and that means they must take risks. Not letting kids learn this hurts them as adults and preparing kids for lives as adults is really what parenting is all about. <gasps> so true. Oh my gosh. I was really overprotected as a kid. Oh my gosh, I feel like so many of these apply to my parents except for the social media ones. My parents were really overprotective. I don't know why. So you lucky people <laughs> here are allowed to have sleepovers. Lucky you. But I wasn't. I was never allowed to have a sleepover. Only except if my family knew them, if they were close. I guess I kind of get it. I guess they're just afraid something's gonna happen. But dude, I was so sheltered as a kid. I think that's why I grew up being so freaking shy. You know, I just wasn't allowed to do anything. And I just grew up shy. Not letting the kids make mistakes. Mm, my dad. <laughs> I guess some parents, they just want you to not fail. You know, they're always just like, failing is bad. I don't think so. I think... You should at least try it out. If you fail, then that's just a part of life. You learn, right? But if you want to keep going after you fail, then that just means you have a passion for something. And some people, they just might be like, oh, I guess that's just not for me. And then they just go to find what other passions they like. And I think experimenting is just all a part of life. So yes, you can make mistakes, but learn from them for sure. But don't make the mistake on purpose, okay? So like, if you know something is bad, don't go doing the bad thing. 
All right, extremely strict rules in general. I had a childhood friend that came over after school once and he said he had to be home by six. Didn't think much of it, so we lost track of time playing games. He lived about a 10 minute walk up the street and he noticed it was 5.52, then started freaking out. My dad's gonna kill me if I'm late. I tried saying he wouldn't care about two minutes. The next day in school, my friend said he wasn't allowed over my house anymore and I never hung out with him again. All over this kid being two minutes late getting home. Ah, oh, that's no good, but I think my parents were like this, but less extreme. <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys this story before, but I remember being out with my friend and I guess I told them I was going to be home at 6 p.m. But then it turned out to be 7 p.m. because the train that we caught was late. But my parents actually went over to my friend's place to look for me. I know, <laughs> okay, I know saying this sounds like so like red flaggy right but they were just worried they weren't doing anything like bad I don't know man it does sound bad when I talk about it but then after I saw them at my friend's place I was like what the? <laughs> and they were like oh there you are and we just went home like I didn't get in trouble for being late it was just that they were just so overprotective that they were so scared something was going to happen to me. But once I came home with them, they're like, I'm just so glad you're safe. And nothing happened. It's just that I think they just worry too much. My parents just worry too much, man. My parents are definitely the parents who would give up everything for their kids. I've always been told how lucky I was because some people are always just like, you're so lucky, Ellen. Like, I agree, but some things I feel like they could have done differently. <laughs> Like, I totally agree that they're great people, they care about me so much, but maybe sometimes just chill. Not saying no to your children. I don't understand the logic. Setting behavioral boundaries and maintaining those boundaries through black and white logic makes perfect sense to me. What? You never say no to your kids? What? I thought parents would be like, no, you're not allowed to do that. What parents don't say no? Are they like, yes. Oh, you're always right, honey. Disciplining children based on what other parents are doing. What works for one kid won't work for others. Ha, huh. true. Did anyone else have this punishment where <laughs> when they got in trouble, they had to stand in front of a wall and just stir at the wall? <laughs> I don't know if that was a common thing. I don't know if that does anything though. Parents who give their children the silent treatment. Going hours, days or longer without speaking. Making the children feel guilty, ashamed and confused about what the real problem is instead of dealing with it openly and forthrightly. The silent treatment? Who gives the kids a silent treatment? I would understand the kids giving the parents the silent treatment, but the parents giving the kids the silent treatment? <gasps> no way. That's crazy. I used to give my parents the silent treatment because I loved eating so much. I remember my mum telling me I should only have like two bowls of rice instead of three bowls of rice. And I got mad at her. <laughs> I gave her the silent treatment. <laughs> and then I was like, fine, I'm never gonna eat ever again then. I'm just gonna stop. I was such a bratty kid over food. Anything to do with food, I'd get mad. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.